Hello and welcome to HyperDog Digital. Today we're going to take a look at a smartwatch uh, by Let'scom. And as you can see here, I've got uh, everything laid out already that came in the box. This is the box here itself. Inside you get a, uh, a different uh, different watch band if you're more of the uh, you know the clothy fabric kind of watch band. Instructions, of course. <coughs> and the watch itself. Now the watch itself actually comes with a, a leather watch band. Uh, it's, it's not bad, it's very nice. Uh, it looks good, feels good. Uh, didn't have any problems with the watch band itself. And uh, uh, the watch uh, is, is uh, solid. Uh, it's a metal watch, obviously. Um, and, it, and it looks like a, a, an actual traditional watch. And that is, uh, that is the, the goal of, of this, uh, uh, this smart watch, is it gives you the traditional watch with a very, very tiny amount of smartwatch thrown in. Uh, and I say that because it, it does connect to your phone, uh, it does do pedometer, it does do uh, call notifications, message notifications, alarm, uh, sleep tracking, all that kind of stuff. But there's not a lot on the face of the watch itself that, uh, that will give you a, a detailed amount of information of what's going on. Um, it is it is a uh, an actual physical uh, face here on here, uh, so it's not a digital face. It's not one you can change. This is all that you see, uh, and we'll see if you can get a, a decent view here. If it'll focus in a little bit. Uh, there you go. So you can see uh, you have a few different icons on here. You have an alarm. You have a message notification, call notification, and then you have a few different items here. Find, which will help you find your phone. Uh, activity which will see this is 0 to 100 it'll tell you if you've reached your uh, your actual uh, fitness goal um, and then week which will tell you what day of the week it is here and then you have this little uh, uh, indicator light up here at the top which uh, actually gives you uh, let's see focus back in there that will actually tell you if you're uh, uh, actually connected or not and those are really all the indications that you get uh, off the watch face itself and um, you get to those I'll try and show you this here as well we can get a focus in here there we go so you get to those by pushing the uh, the, the crown here one time and you'll see that it's it's on telling you that you're connected and you need to do it second time it will send you down to find if you want to go to activity oh, okay well there it'll tell you where your phone is and actually uh, play a tone so you know where your phone is but let's go on to something different here let's see if we can focus back in here there we go so you push the crown push it again you go to find go to activity you can go to week and if you let it set at that point it will tell you which day of the week it is in this case it's Tuesday which is correct and then it will go back to using the second hand so again you can tell uh, that if the alarm goes off it's going to point to the alarm if you get a message it's going to point to the message and if you get a phone call it's going to point to that phone icon there all right and that is basically it that is that is the uh, that is the nuts and bolts of this thing uh, as far as let's see if we can focus back in here okay so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the software for the let's Com smartwatch uh, the uh, the app for this is called dmap as you can see right there on the screen uh, and uh, we're starting off on the My Watch screen, which is basically just a very generic uh, screen that gives you a little bit of device settings, uh, some system information, firmware, uh, help screen, and My Goals. Uh, my Goals only allows you to give uh, the, the goals of steps and, the, and the, uh, your sleep duration. Device settings also very, very generic here. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's move on to My Whole Day. My Whole Day actually gives you... Uh, your 24 hours, your last 24 hours of your day, uh, and as far as uh, what your, uh, your your exercise, your sleep, kind of gives you a a summary of, of some of your different uh, uh, 
uh, different key items that you that you might want to see throughout the day. Uh, Analyze uh, it will actually uh, synchronize your watch with with the software in case it uh, it hasn't synchronized uh, right away or you wanted to get some updated information. Now functions is where the uh, the meat of this uh, this product is here, uh, and as you can see through most of these, this is where a lot of the uh, uh, the big settings are. So you can set an alarm here if you'd like to. Uh, you can uh, set up a remote shutter if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, it gives a little bit more uh, a small option here for if you wanted to set uh, do not disturb. Uh, smart alert for if you have calls, message alerts. This is where uh, if you get a call or a message alert, it will the second hand will point to one of those icons that we showed earlier. Uh, of course, a sedentary alert. Uh, an app message alert if you wanted to set up some apps to, to actually alert on there as well. Um, hand calibration uh, is where you actually calibrate the watch when you first get it. You actually need to set the hour, uh, the minute, and the second hands uh, to whatever is currently showing on the watch and then it will synchronize the time uh, just in case the, the time is off uh, for whatever reason. It's also part of the, uh, the initial setting. <clears throat> NFC e-card uh, allows you to uh, have basically a business card that you can transfer to somebody uh, through NFC if you if you wanted to do something like that And then of course you can turn on or off a disconnection alert and that is basically the software that you have here so uh, There's a lot of a lot of different options and uh, it does uh, does record a lot of information uh, For you to look at later, uh, especially you know if you're into the the fitness part of it So there you go. That is the D map software for the let's Com smartwatch so there you go, that is the uh, smartwatch by Let's Come. Uh, again, this is a very nice watch. It, it looks really good. Um, it, uh, it's it got uh, the static face on it, the, the physical face uh, that does not change, it's not digital. Um, it's got just enough uh, smart capabilities to it uh, to be useful for somebody that's, that's just wanting to get their feet wet a little bit. Um, but uh, it, it does have some shortcomings, certainly. Uh, it won't tell you, you know, the day of the month or anything like that on the face, which I wish it would. Um, but it does work very well. It connects very easy. The the application that we saw is, is very robust. It gives you a lot of options to go through there as well. Um, so this is uh, uh, it's still a very nice smartwatch uh, to to just get you into the into the mix, or if you just want a regular watch with a little tiny bit of smart to it, uh, but you don't want to go full dive into uh, you know a digital watch or something like that. Uh, the size is great. Uh, it's it's not much bigger than than your average watch. Um, so there you go. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and we hope to see you again here next time on Hyperdog Digital. Thank you.